All right, Virginia's General Assembly gaveled into session today, and among their many agenda items is the proposal to bring the Caps and the Wizards to Northern Virginia. That's right. Now, for that monumental move to become a reality, a lot's going to have to happen. State lawmakers have a lot of details to sort out and approve before the city takes up the debate. Our Northern Virginia Bureau reporter Drew Wilder live in Richmond, where Governor Glenn Youngkin just wrapped up his State of the Commonwealth address. Drew, we know that bringing the teams to Virginia, that is a big priority for the governor. Yeah. He was there the day they made that announcement. What did he have to say about all of it? Right. Well, Adam, the governor reiterated a lot of the same talking points that he had back when that announcement was made, as you mentioned, about a month ago. What's new tonight is that we're hearing from state Democrats about what they believe has to happen first before we actually consider an arena. And if Democrats are able to get some of these, it could benefit really everybody throughout the DMV. The governor brought a local business owner from Alexandria as his guest to the State of the Commonwealth address tonight, again stressing that this will not cost Virginia taxpayers any money up front, that this is a win economically for the Commonwealth. But we're hearing from lawmakers on both sides of the aisle who have reservations. Today, Virginia state lawmakers gavel into session where the $2 billion proposal to move the Caps and Wizards is on state lawmakers' table. After Democrats outlined their priorities, News 4 asked about the arena. The proposal to bring the Washington Capitals and Wizards to Potomac Yard. The governor's proposal is a beast. Uh, yeah. And the elephant in the room. I signed up to take all the bullets, so. Alexandrians are vocal about their concerns of an arena's impact on quality of life and transportation. Dems are drawing a new line in the sand that would benefit the entire DMV. Those of us in Northern Virginia feel very strongly that making sure Metro is fully funded is a precondition before we have any kind of dialogue about the arena. State Senator Adam Evans says Youngkin recently contracted a traffic feasibility study that should be released by the end of the month. I think he should have done that in September or August or October. Youngkin's promised $200 million to the arena related to transportation, but he's leaving it up to lawmakers to figure out exactly where that money comes from. And without adequate transportation, uh, this plan is not uh, acceptable. But Dems acknowledge the potential economic boost to Nova is undeniable. Outside of Nova, though, fully funding Metro is not a priority. The chair of the Senate Finance Committee wants to end road tolls in her district before she'll entertain the arena proposal. Hampton Roads has waited long enough for it to be our turn, for our time to shine, and so we're going to work on the tolls first. And, you know, as chair of Senate Finance and Appropriation, I think we need to start where I want to start. And it's going to be with the tolls. The other side of the aisle seems hesitant to believe that moving the teams to the other side of the Potomac is a win for the rest of the state. But Republican Senator Bryce Reeves has faith in Youngkin. If you look at the governor's background, this is right in his wheelhouse, and he's not going to give the Commonwealth a bad deal. It's going to be an excellent deal, and I think it's an excellent deal. There might not be enough time to find out what kind of deal it is. Because right now it's a deal with monumental holes that can only be filled with complex fiscal solutions. Some lawmakers wonder if they can even get it done during the 60-day session. So if the General Assembly is able to get a deal done and the governor signs it, it would then go to Alexandria City Council. And the City Council would work out more of the finer de details here, including the final site plan. And then that would ultimately have to be approved by the City Council, you guys. All right. Uh, one other big item, though, Drew, uh, the arena, understandably, is getting a lot of attention. But there's also right. been a lot of talk about the possibility of building a casino in Fairfax County. What are you hearing about that? Yeah, it certainly generated a lot of buzz in the community. It was a bill that was introduced last session by State Senator Dave Marsden. I actually talked with Senator Marsden earlier today. He tells me he does plan to reintroduce that bill this session. He's very confident about it. He plans to introduce it actually next week, and that would allow a casino to be built in Fairfax County. But again, similar to the arena deal, this would just allow Fairfax County to start considering it. It would then have to go to the county board. They would decide where it might go. And this deal would actually have to be approved by voters, and voters would have the decision as far as a ballot referendum goes on whether or not they wanted it a casino in their community. Mm. You guys? And literally, let the chips fall where they... I mean, just a few things to tie up here. <laughs> <Just> a <laughs> There's a lot going on. All right. Just a few. Thanks, Drew.